this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have what I think will be a fairly simple wedding card. Um, I believe I mentioned last time I did a wedding card how much I like the white on white tones but I like to have a little pop of color so today we're going to do a simple card um, with that's white on white but there is definitely going to be a pop or two of color so let's get started. To start with, I have my card base here. Now there's a little bit of something on my card here, and I'm not worried about that because this will all be covered. This is a um, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that I've cut in half, and so and I've scored it at five and a uh, five and a half. No, I'm sorry, I've scored it at four and a quarter, so that now I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. This is paper tray ink, white card stock. I, I think it's the Stampler Select or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but it's from paper tray ink. And it's a nice, heavy card base. I'm also going to be using this navy blue trim, or uh, ribbon from Three Girl Jam. And from Cuddlebug, I'm using the Birds, Birds and Swirls, which I've already used. I've got some white um, paper here. I don't know, it was just in my stash. It's probably Georgia Pacific, but I'm not sure. Um, this blue that I have is a really pretty shimmery blue, and it's from Die Cuts for, with a View from the Shimmer Stack. Now I have these Recollections little gems, which I may or may not use. I just pulled them out to um, just in case I decide to want to use them. So, um, and then the images that I'm going to be using are actually digital images, and I've got two of them. Um, this is from Sweet and Sassy. Um, stamps and this says to have and to hold from this day forward and then on the inside it says therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh and I thought that was really nice for a wedding card um, and this is actually a wedding sentiment um, set now I um, haven't this is for the inside of the card and I haven't attached it because I wanted to do a quick tip I've shared this tip before but in case you've missed it I just wanted to share it again um, I took I, I sized and um, played with my image to get the size that I wanted to and printed it on a piece of paper. Now I did have quite a bit of waste on this paper because these were the only two white, um, these, on, these two sentiments were the only two on the page, but I needed to have plenty of room because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to, what I was going to do with it. Now um, Spellbinder die wise, I don't have one that's large enough that well, this is the classic um, small squares, um, classic small rectangles. And um, I didn't have a rectangle large enough for this whole image unless I did it fairly small. And I needed the white space so that I could have room to do the sentiment on my card. So I just cut it into a square. And I kind of played with it till I found the size that I wanted. And the size here isn't as important. I believe it's probably three and a half by about five or four and three quarters maybe this way but this this piece the blue piece that you have that you see here is a um, five and a quarter five and three eighths inch piece that's five and three eighths inch tall and it's four and an eighth inch wide so that you won't see much of the white below it now this is my tip on the back side you see this square this is the blue from here but because it's going to be completely covered up you can use this blue and no one will know the difference and that is a good way to stretch your paper now i recently just yesterday from when i'm taping this video went through my scrap stash and um, my mom was here visiting me from a different state and she is relatively new to paper crafting and doesn't have a lot of paper crafting supplies. And so I went through my scrap stash. Um, you know if you followed me on YouTube or my blog, I do. I make a lot of cards with my scraps. I save a lot of scraps. And so um, I had some really nice pieces. I, I'm guesstimating there's probably enough stuff to have nice probably 50 to 100 cards so I just sent all of them home with her I found a few more after she left I was hanging on to just a few from recent projects but so basically I'm starting brand new with my scrap stash um, for cards and I'm trying to do things that I can utilize my scraps better as, as sooner so that I don't have huge stacks of scraps Scraps. So this is a good way for me to start with that using this piece of paper. So now the inside of my card is all finished and I'm ready to do the outside. Now I have two pieces here. Uh oh, let's see. 
And when I was cutting, I made a mistake and I should have used this piece and I cut the piece when, <laughs> when I was doing my paper cutting, I cut the piece that I actually meant to use for my card. So we're going to have to cut another piece here. I wanna cut it at four and an eighth inches wide. So let's do this, let's do the five and three eighths first. I just barely, again, like the inside, I want just barely a little bit to be showing through. So there's the five and three eighths, and then we're going to go by four and an eighth. And that's going to be on our card base. And then what I, this is the piece, and I don't know how well the card, the camera picks it up, but this piece was the four inch by the five and, or by the five and a quarter inch. And I'm just going to layer those together. So there you see just that pop of color. Unfortunately, I would have liked to have a narrower layering of this piece, but it, and the way the set goes, that was as um, close margin wise that I could get. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been battling some kind of a virus or allergies or something, I'm not sure. I chose the birds and, birds and squirrels um, file, cuddle bug file, fo or uh, embossing folder, just because I think it's so pretty. Okay, so this is going to be on our card. Now, this is going to go on our card as well, and I may or may not use pop dots, I haven't, or uh, foam tape. I haven't quite decided, but I wanted to pull in this Three Girl Jam. Now this navy is not the exact same color, but it is in the same tones. And so that's why I chose that. Now I could do a couple of different things here. I could put it underneath here, but if I do that, there's not going to be room for a bow. So I have debated on how I'm going to do it. Let's just start by cutting a piece, a length of ribbon. Um, and tying a bow and then we'll just manipulate it and play with it just a little bit. Um, I could just go like this. Let's see how that looks. This navy blue ribbon is from the um, navy, the navy, the new navy pack over at Three Girl Jam, and it is just a beautiful ribbon. So we could just do that like so. We'll put this here. That's pretty. Another option that I could do is I could pull out my Three Girl Jam bow maker and make some bows this way. and then just put a bow on. And that would be another option. Just, you know, that's kind of, I think that's what I'm going to do, not pull it around. So let's go ahead and adhere these down. Now, um, I'm using extra adhesive, not so much on this piece, I'm just using my normal go around the circle pretty much piece. But when, when we're adhering things to embossed images, you need lots of adhesive because the surface isn't always in contact with each other. So you need to make sure that you've got, because it's raised, you need to make sure that you have plenty of room there. And then for this one, I think I'm just going to center it like so. You know, there's another option here, but it's too late. So we'll go with this one. Maybe in a different card, I'll do something a little bit differently um, to do the white on white. So let's go ahead and just trim this off. My other scissors are, I used for my daughter's graduation the other day and I haven't, they haven't made their way back to the craft room. I think we're going to put that there. So let's adhere this down. Now this is one where I want to be sure and use lots of adhesive because I'm going over to that embossed image and I don't want to lose my image or lose the, the layers. Go. Just like that. And then 
to adhere that, let's just grab a little bit of glue here, just to make it stronger rather than using adhesive. I could also use a glue dot and that would be gorgeous. Now I know that you may be seeing the white there. That's fine. It will dry clear. And there we have that. Now to decide if I want this. Hmm. I'm not sure how well it will adhere. These are really pretty. It's got some good foam adhesive, so I think we might be okay. It might just stay. Now, this um, will need extra postage going through the mail. And there we have our wedding card. To have and to hold from this day forward. And there we have it. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.